Hey, what's up guys? I am back and guess what? This is another haul. <laughs> um, this is another collective haul of some things that I have gathered over the last, eh, I'd say month and a half. And um, they're just from different sources and stuff, not one particular store or one particular location where I got everything from. But I will honestly say that most of it came from Ulta, um, discount stores such as Family Dollar, as well as Dollar General, um, and Ulta. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so we are going to start off with brushes since I have quite a few of them. And I got these from TJ Maxx, Ulta, as well as Dollar General. And that would be all of these. <laughs> and we're going to just jump right into um, these first set of three brushes that I purchased, which happened to come from TJ Maxx. And these are the Jaclyn Hill brushes. And I will specify or put them down in the description um, right down here beneath the screen. Because honestly, I don't have time to sit here and try to um, squint to see the fine print on the brushes because, like I said, I'm nearsighted. So these are the three brushes that I had acquired or copped from um, TJ Maxx. This one is a big, fluffy, jumbo face brush. If I'm not mistaken, I think I had this in the last video, but just in case I didn't cover it in the last haul, this is a jumbo Jaclyn Hill Morphe face powder brush. I absolutely love it. As you can see, I've already used it. It's so soft. It just, this is a gorgeous brush and I love the coverage. I love how it evenly distributes the powder all over my face and it just makes my face look airbrushed and flawless like it does now. <laughs> um, the other two brushes, this one is a contour angle blending brush. Um, like I said, the product descriptions will be right here beneath the screen. And then this last one is a contour brush that I had also picked up. So these came from TJ Maxx respectively. I think this one was, ooh, don't quote me on this. I think I spent $12.99 for this one. And then for this one, which is a contour brush, I think I spent seven or eight, $8.99 for this one. And then this one right here was like $5.99. So yeah. Pick them up. They, they, they're starting to get a steady flow of Jaclyn Hill um, limited edition Morphe brushes into the store. So I definitely wanted to snatch these up every chance I got when I would go into the store and I would see some, I would pick them up. So yeah, I love those brushes. And then the other ones came from Dollar Tree. These are two large concealer brushes. You can never have enough of these, okay? I have a bunch of them because I always like to keep them um, as backups. Um, in my makeup kit for my clients. I also like to have um, multiples because, you know, on days that I have like heavy clientele, I like to have multiple brushes so that I'm not, I can rotate them and I'm not, you know, using the same limited brushes and then I have to clean in between each client. Um, I think I have at least a dozen of these. So that way I rotate them less and I'll have them on deck in case I have to just breeze through a lot of clients if I have you know a lot of people to take care of so having these brushes is never too much and these are the wet and wild large um large concealer brushes and i love them so much uh, i'm just a big fan of these and they're so affordable they're like a dollar and some change so yeah go and pick these up from the dollar tree the dollar tree they're not even the dollar tree anymore they're a dollar 25 tree now i don't know where the extra quarter came in at but i guess due to inflation they had to go up on the price i guess weird but true but they are dollar 25 each i love the dollar tree matter of fact i don't know about anybody else but i love shopping there because you can get a wide variety of, of a number of things there matter of fact in the automotive department i found some nice little plastic containers that i can keep my um crystal swarovski crystals in for my clients when i do their nails and they are so nice they're super convenient so yeah i i love them like i said everything is a dollar or a dollar 25 um the next brush that I have um, that's also from the Dollar Tree is the Crease Brush by Wet n Wild. I love these. These are just really, really nice. Um, they perform very well. I just love these brushes by Wet n Wild. It, yeah, keep them coming because I love their brushes. Um, this one is a foundation brush that I had gotten from Ulta. This is the Real Techniques brush. I used this in my last makeup tutorial. 
this brush goes on so amazing. I mean, it buffs my foundation out to perfection, and I absolutely love this brush. Um, no, I think I got, yeah, I got this one from Walmart. Um, either way, you can go to Ultra or Walmart. It's like, it retails for $6.99, so you can't beat the price, and it's just an amazing, amazing brush. It just distributes the foundation evenly over the skin. It just gives you that airbrushed, flawless look, so... Yeah, I loved, love, love, love that brush. The last brush that I picked up was from TJ Maxx. This one was $7.99 and it's a Sigma um, blending brush and it's their E44. You can see right there is the E44 brush by Sigma. And this brush is beautiful. They're starting to carry more Sigma brushes in the TJ Maxx store now. And I just absolutely love Sigma brushes. I'm starting to get more into them now. I'm a big Morphe brush fan, for those that don't know. I'm always buying Morphe brushes from the Ulta store. Now that they have them in TJ Maxx, I'm picking them up all the time. And the main reason being is because they're discounted in TJ Maxx. So, hell yeah, I'm going to go in there and pick them every, every chance I get. Um, this Morphe brush I had picked up from... I believe I picked this one up from... If I'm not mistaken, I picked this one up from TJ Maxx. This is the Morphe Highlighter Brush. This is, I believe, the R36 brush. And this was the one with the white bristles. Super soft. Um, this one is gorgeous, too. Um, I believe this is the Rose Gold Edition um, brushes because of the handle. So, yeah, I also picked this one up from TJ Maxx. And I think this one was like... $5.99 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that brush is gorgeous too. Okay, that concludes the brushes. So we're on to the next session. Next section. I love lashes. For those that don't know, I am a lash junkie. I'm always picking up lashes. And these lashes in particular, I absolutely love. They're super affordable. They're pretty. Um, they're flexible. They look natural. They give like the most perfect look to um to complement any makeup look that you do. And this is um, the LA Colors um, Lashes in different varieties. This is the Dramatic, the dramatic Lash and Wispy. This one is comparable to Ardell's Wispy Lashes. So I absolutely love this in the pink packaging. I picked this one up from Family Dollar. I think it was a dollar and some change. This one I picked up from Dollar Tree. This is the Dramatic Lash Dramatic Lash, False Eyelashes, and Demure. So these are really, really nice too. The name of them is like right there, Demure. And even though they look, they look like they would come close to the Wispy Lashes, the Wispy Lashes are a little bit longer, they're a little bit more fluttery on the ends. These are less dense and they're shorter. So yeah, I love these. Um, all the rest of these I picked up from Dollar Tree. And that's the Dramatic Lashes in the small compacts. Um, this style is Diva, which is $9.76. And then I also have um, Dainty, um, Diva, two pairs of Diva. Actually, no, -uh. I got four packs of Divas, which is $9.76. That's all of these. And then one pair is dainty. And they are just that. They're lightweight, they're less dense, and they give a more natural look, uh, but just enough length for a dramatic effect. So yeah, I love these. These were only a dollar and a half each um, for Family Dollar. I believe three of them, and then the other two are from Dollar Tree. So I always stack up my um, makeup um, my makeup case for my clients I always stack these up in there because these are so pretty they can either be for a dramatic look or they could be for everyday wear either way they complement whatever look that you do so I always pick up a bunch of these we have a Morphe um, 35s sweet oasis palette this, this this palette is just really really pretty um, I picked this up for $19.99 at TJ Maxx and when I tell you these colors in here are so these colors just they hit I mean they hitting they hitting look at that just beautiful 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 colors 
I love all of the blues, the pinks, the neutral tones, uh, the monochromatic um, tones like these grays over here. Um, and it's coming down. These are just gorgeous. And I just cannot wait to play in this palette. I originally bought it for my clients, okay? It's not really a palette for myself. I originally bought it for my clients, but I do want to do a makeup look out of this palette. Uh, these colors are so pretty. Infinity Pool is probably one of my favorites. Look at that. That is so intense. And then uh, my other one that I love is Picture Perfect. Yeah. This is a nice mulberry pink. That one looks beautiful too. And just one swipe will do it. I mean, they just they just come off so nice. Um, another one is Vineyard Escape. This one is a pretty color too. This is like an eggplant purple. That color is gorgeous. But you see how beautiful these shades are? <sighs> They're just absolutely stunning. Wanderlust is like my favorite hands down in this palette as far as a bright dramatic color. Wanderlust. That is beautiful. Like, oh Jesus, I cannot wait to play in this palette for at least just one look. But these colors in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I picked that up to throw this in my makeup kit. They did have the Sweet Peach palettes by Too Faced Cosmetics, and I was so mad because I told myself after spending so much money at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago that I was going to go back to see if they had any more of the Sweet Peach palettes left. And I'd be damned they didn't have any more. So I have to wait until they do a restock and then I'm going to snatch one up immediately. Okay, the next set of um, makeup that I bought is a doozy. It's a handful. Um, but I'm going to start with the lashes first. These lashes I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it's a brand by Ayani. And they're so pretty. I love these. These are the Sofo Make Lashes. And this, this, this particular um, lash, I'm trying to look, at, look for the lash style on it. This is called Rosa. I like to just say that, but it's called Rosa. But look how beautiful they are. And they're really dramatic in, in, in the look of them all. And they, they give just enough density without them being too heavy. Because I really don't like heavy, heavy lashes. I feel like it looks harsh and very unnatural. But I, I'm into these type of lashes now. They're just wispy. They have a little bit of density at the base, but they're just light and fluttery and wispy towards the end. So these are my favorite style of lashes to wear. And then the other pair of lashes that I bought was by Julia's Place. They just came out with their brand new lash line like maybe two or three months ago. And I was here for it, okay? Because the only thing that I'm, I'm looking forward to Juvia's Place coming out with next is, because they already got skincare, is mascara. I don't think they have a mascara in their line yet, but they just started offering lashes. And this pair is super, super pretty. Uh, these are medium volume. Um, this style right here. Um, I'm trying to see what style this is. Because like I said, I'm blind as a bat. I think this is Zaria. Yeah. And these lashes are so pretty. Like I said, I like the fluttery, light, feathery look when it comes to my lashes. But look at that style. Like, like, look how pretty they are. It gives you just enough of a dramatic effect. And then I love the packaging, too. The packaging is, like, really, really pretty. Like, it has a flip top on it and everything. But, yeah, I love these lashes. And they're 14 They retail for $14 each. So, yeah, hurry down to your nearest Ulta and go pick you up a couple of pairs, okay? The next thing that I have up is some more Juvia's Place products that I had gotten from Ulta. They just recently came out with colored liquid liners too. Uh, these are the four items that I picked up from um, Ulta just recently. Two of these are liquid liners right here and then these two are lip products. Um, this one is uh, from the Nubian Earth Collection. This lip gloss right here. And this one is called Mirage. It's super, super pretty. It's like a nice, nudie, brown, neutral, tan, like lip gloss. And it's really, really pretty. And I love how neutral it is. It just is beautiful. Like, that's what it looks like on the back of my head. And it has like a little slight sparkles of glitter in it. Um, just really, really pretty. 
and then this one is another uh, lip reflect gloss this one is called lavendia lavenda um this color is so unique i i just had to have it i think i'm gonna go back and pick up the other one that's glittery too but look at that it's like a lilac purple type of color it's so 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 pretty and i'm gonna put it on the back of my head so you guys can get an idea Ooh. Uh, this is so pretty i can't wait to do this with a pastel type look but look how pretty that is like oh my goodness it's really really it's like a whipped lavender it's just so 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 pretty and i absolutely love it so yeah i'm looking forward to wear these two which i'm going to feature the makeup look real soon and then um the other ones are the liquid lighters that i was telling you about plus an extra one that I picked up in white by NYX. This is the Epic Wear Liquid Lip um, Eyeliner. This one is in white. I can give you an idea of what it looks like on the back of my head. But I love the easy applicator on the brush. It just flows. And that's what the white uh, liquid lighter looks like on the back of my head. And then the other two is, like I said, by Juvia's Place. Um, this one that I picked up is a colored lighter and oh i hate this but i have to see um this one is in sunflower and the other one is in pink hibiscus pink hibiscus was the one that caught my eye first this color is so intense in in, in, in color it's like a beautiful hibiscus pink bright vivid color and look at the packaging it's just really really pretty and this one looks like this Oof. Oh, and it's so pretty that's pink hibiscus next to that white and then we're gonna do sunflower next to that one yeah sunflower that's a struggle okay it's a struggle. Okay, this is what this one looks like. It's a beautiful, bright, vivid yellow. Like, it's just really, really pretty. And you just swipe it, and it gives full-on coverage. Like, it, there's no skips. It's not transparent. It's just a solid color. But that yellow is so stinking gorgeous. Like, I really, absolutely, I really, really love the way it looks. So, yeah. These are $14 each at Alta. So run down there and pick you, pick you up some. We'll get you some, okay? Uh, this is just an inexpensive drugstore brand. Uh, it's called Laugh Out Loud Lip Gloss. Yes, this is my Nana, Nana, Nana Coco Lip Gloss. And this is uh, the color uh, Cherry Blossom. I picked this up from my local beauty supply store, like I said. I just love the pink color on this. It is just really sheer. And really pretty and that's what this one looks like on the back of my head right there like, look at that. this is really pretty it's just really feminine in color it's really just really soft and pretty it's a really pretty pink like color these two items I got from TJ Maxx yeah um, this one is max extra dimension skin finish in I believe this one is called Double Gleam. So pretty. I picked this one up, and that's the price on the back of it right now. It was $14.99. And, baby, look here. This highlighter is everything. It's giving, and it is giving some more. And it is giving back and then giving some more again. This color is just beautiful it's like a bright vivid like highlighter this highlighter is so beautiful matter of fact i'm wearing it right now if you can see on my cheeks and it looks like this in the packaging and when i swipe it this is what you get and then i transfer it over to my hair like how pretty is that it's just really really high beam shine it, it just it's beautiful like it's such a 
beautiful, beautiful, vivid color of highlighter shade, you know, on the skin. So yeah, that's what that looks like right there. And like I said, the skin finish is just beautiful. They had two left, and I just went ahead and picked up one for myself. And then I have a MAC lipstick that I also picked up from them, and this one is, um, I got this direct from the store. I had back to back some products. They have a program to where if you collect six empty containers of, you know, eyeshadow products or, you know, any products that you have used up, you can take the containers back to the store to, to, to back to back them and they will give you a lipstick of your choice. So Brave is the one that I chose when I back the max some products. I think it's like six, six empty containers that you have to back the back in order for them to um, give you a free lip product. And this one, like I said, it's called Brave. And it's just beautiful. It's like, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's a pinky tone lipstick. It's almost like a mauve color. I love mauve tone pinks and stuff. And that's what it looks like on the back of the head. It's just super, super pretty. And, um, that was my lipstick of choice, and this one is a satin lipstick, so cream, sheet, cre cream sheets and satin lipsticks by MAC, I really, really love. So that color is beautiful. Okay, the next few products that I have are all of these, as you can see, and we're going to run through these real quickly, like a Tomb Raider. This one is a Clinique clarifying lotion that I picked up from TJ Maxx like some time, some time ago. I paid $14.99 for this. I love this clarifying toner. It makes my skin more refreshed, brighter. It gives more clarity to my skin. It wipes away impurities. And it just makes my skin feel softer and smoother after I use it. So I picked this up. Then I also picked up this rose, rose hip all over body oil. It has avocado and rose hip. It's an avocado rose hip blend. And it's an all over body oil with deeply hydrating benefits that promotes smoother skin. When I tell you this feels like, this feels like silk on my skin after I come out of a shower. And when I put this on my body, it seals and locks in the moisture and it makes my skin feel as smooth as a baby's butt. This stuff is so good. And you get a lot of product for this. And I spent, believe it or not, I spent $6.99 for this because the stick is still at the bottom. So you can see it right there. That's what I spent for this. But it's a lot of product. You're getting like eight fluid ounces of vanilla rose. It's a vanilla rose scent, but it's an avocado rose hip blend. And it smells really, really good. And it has an eyedropper bottle at the top. And like I said, I add a couple of drops either to my bath water if I take a bath or after I get out of the shower, I rub this into my body and I seal and lock in moisture and my skin just feels super buttery soft and I love the feeling of this rose hip oil. Okay, um, I also went to Ulta and picked up a backup of my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Butter Pecan, which is my shade. And I absolutely love this foundation. I'm almost finished with my little bottle of um, my little bottle right here. So I went ahead and bought me a backup. So that's what this is. This retails for $45 from Ulta. At Dollar Tree, I picked up this makeup brush cleaner. It's quick drying. It is by Bath and Beauty. $1.25. And I have three of these. Um, I have two in my makeup kit for clients. And then I have... Um, no, I have two for myself and then I have one in my makeup kit. Um, the reason being is because I have other brush cleaners in my makeup kit as well. So I got two of these and like I said, they clean my brushes very well as a matter of fact. And they do just exactly what they say that they do. They do dry very, very quickly. Um, I have the other bottle in here. Like I said, I have two. And they're very affordable. So you can just go to Dollar Tree and just pick these up in the makeup and beauty section. And for a dollar and a quarter, you can't beat that. So I got two of these. Um, and then the last three products that I have, um, of course, I pick up my Tried and True, my Morphe Brow Pen from Ulta. Um, incidentally, they have gone up on the price. 
They used to be five dollars for these. My shade is Java, and now they are they retail for eight dollars. It is what it is, but I don't complain because I love this. I love this. After a while, I think I might swap out all of my brow pens just for Morphe brow pens because I love them so much. And like I said, I have others, and it's a shame because I rarely pick them up. Like, I have so many of these brow pencils. It's just ridiculous. Except for, with the exception of Benefit Brow Pencil. Now, that one is, like, my second favorite brow pen to use. Meanwhile, I have all of these other ones. And, like I said, I rarely pick them up because I'm just stuck on my Morphe Brow Pens and my Morphe Brow Products, period, besides um, my Benefit. But like I said, I picked up one of these from Ulta as a backup. And then the last two products I have came from TG, TJ Maxx. I've always wanted to try this brand uh, since it launched or came out. But for some reason, I never would get around to, you know, going on the website and just ordering her products. But if, if all of you don't know, you know now. I've always been a huge Jaclyn Hill fan. You know, in spite of whatever, I just feel like she's a great influencer I love her makeup tutorials. I love her personality. She's just very bubbly. And I always wanted to try her makeup line. Well, guess what? I walked into TJ Maxx um, a few days ago, and they just happened to be selling some of her products in there. So I ended up getting two, okay? Um, one is the um, liquid highlighter. This one is in the shade Sun Glare. This is beautiful, okay? I'm usually not a fan of liquid highlighters or loose highlighter powders because they're messy. Um, I always try to find the right technique for myself in order to apply those type of products because they just get all over the place and sometimes they can be a pain in the ass to handle because, you know, you have to clean up all of the blowback, the dust and stuff that gets everywhere. But this liquid highlighter is just really, really gorgeous. I don't even consider it to be like a highlighter for me because the finish of this is so beautiful that it gives me, it just gives me Egyptian goddess sun-kissed glow to the skin. That's the vibes that it gives me when I use it or I try it out. And I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what it looks like because it's so pretty. It has an eyedropper bottle. It's real short, but it's a it's an eyedropper. And I'm just going to dab a little bit on the back of my hand so you can see it. That's the shade of it right there. Oh my goodness, it's so vivid. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to rub it into the skin. And like I said, it's a highlighter, but it's giving me bronzer more than anything else. So that's probably what I'm going to use this for. But look how intense that is. Oh, it's like a liquid metal. It's so pretty. And it complements my skin so well. So yes, I am obsessed with this liquid highlighter. And like I said, I usually don't I usually stay away from liquid lighters, uh, highlighters as well as lick, um, powder, loose powder highlighters because they're so messy. But, baby, this one is so beautiful. I, what? I have to use this one. I don't care if it's just as a all-over face bronzer. It's that pretty to use as, as such. And the last item that I'm showing you guys is a liquid lipstick by Jaclyn Hill. This one is called Flannel. Okay, when I tell you this gives, and then it gives some more, it's just insane. It's absolutely ridiculous how pretty um, this liquid highlighter is. And just to prove my point, I'm actually wearing it right now on my lips. Um, it's called flannel, and it's so pretty. Yeah, it doesn't really necessarily match my sweater. Well, who gives a rats behind? You know, I, I usually try to be matchy matchy about a lot of stuff, but I just wanted to try it, try it out. So I put it on my lips and like, come on, now. and I used my Mac lip pencil in Night Moth to line my lips before I applied my lip product. Um, and it, it complements it like really, really well because it looks so good up against it. I was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run with this. But this is my Night Moth Lip Pencil by MAC. And 
can burn with this lipstick because it's kind of dark. You know, I got big old soup coolers. I just feel like being matchy-matchy with a, a lip liner and a coordinating lipstick does nothing for my lips. I just feel like it makes my lips look a little bit more weird. Like, I feel like they draw more attention to them and don't give any definition to them and they make my lips look like the big soup coolers that they are, okay? But with this, I can buy this with this lip, like, lip liner and it just came out so pretty. I tried this in the store and, you know, just dabbing a little bit on my hands. I knew it would be pretty, but I didn't think it would be this pretty, okay? Um, this is what it looks like on the back of my head. It's a warm tone red. It's just really, really pretty. But look how it looks on the lips. Like, come on, man. Like, this is so pretty. They had a couple more. I'm going to have to go back and get a backup of this. I don't know why, uh, because this one is a little bit darker. This reminds me of the liquid lipstick that Urban Decay used to have back in the day. And I have, I still have a little bit of it left, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. This is my Urban Decay palette. And Jaclyn Hill's liquid lipstick reminds me of this liquid lipstick in this one. And I still have some of it right here. It's not a whole lot in there, but... That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna put this on the back of my head so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It kinda, but like this one is a little bit darker, but it gives me, it gives me this energy from this lip, this lip, this lip stain. This is really a lip stain. Um, Jacqueline's is a liquid lipstick. And the name of this one, um, I'm trying to see the name on it, I'm trying to. I don't even know if Urban Decay still makes this lip stain, but it's called Lip Envy, and it's so damn pretty. Like, this lip stain is just a little bit darker than Jaclyn Hill's li um, liquid lipstick, but I don't care. It's super pretty, and it, it is so close to this, it's not even much funny, but you can tell just a little bit that it's a little bit more darker, this one is, over this one, but... This lip is just absolutely pretty. And like I said, I've had this for a long time. At this point, it's just a collector's item um, of this little particular palette that I have right here. That concludes my makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, share, subscribe. And like I said, I'm getting back into the groove of things. I have a couple more videos that I have to edit and upload, but I will be stepping it up a little bit because I have a lot of things that I want to share with you guys that I have in store. So I want you to keep it locked to my channel and just stay tuned because there's more videos to come. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will check in with you guys another time. I love you all. You have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.